Good evening. Billions of dollars could be injected into South Australia's economy every year if the state is willing to become the first international dumping ground for high-level radioactive waste. The tentative findings unveiled by the Nuclear Royal Commission, but not everyone agrees it's the right plan. A clear plan for the state's nuclear future, with the Royal Commissioner detailing his dramatic findings. The community needs to understand the risks and the benefits. Kevin Scares outlining how South Australia could be home for the world's high-level radioactive waste. We've had waste now for 50, 60 years. There has not been an international solution yet. A dump could bring the state a total of $257 billion in revenue, with $5.6 billion to be injected annually for the first 30 years of operation. Four and a half thousand jobs would be created at the height of construction, with an average of one and a half thousand people employed each year over the 25 years it would take to complete. This is a sophisticated facility with world-class infrastructure. That's what the proposal encompasses and it has no bearing whatsoever to a dump. Under the proposal a dedicated port, rail line and airport would be built. The 138,000 tonne facility would dispose of 13 per cent of the world's nuclear waste, while an investment fund would ensure the profits can be spent well into the future. Community and government support essential for the plans to go further. The Cabinet has not formed any position either for or against, concerning any of the tentative findings in the report. Bipartisanship critical, but the opposition isn't yet ready to show its colours either. We want to make a decision which is in the best interests of all South Australians. We want to make a responsible uh, decision and that's why we're waiting for the final uh, report. The interim report also finding the case to further process uranium or building a nuclear power plant doesn't stack up yet. Rory McLaren joins us now live from the Town Hall where the first public meeting is about to get underway. And Rory, already the idea of a nuclear waste dump in our state has divided opinion. Yes, yeah, certainly has, Brenton. And now people have the chance to voice their opinions. And those opinions have certainly been voiced loud and clear ahead of this evening's meeting with a, uh, a collection of rather vocal anti-nuclear protesters outside Town Hall. Now, hundreds have filled the hall for tonight's meeting, which is one of a series which will run over the next five weeks of the consultation period following today's interim report. Now, with his final report not due until May, the Royal Commissioner has been very clear that it's up to the people of South Australia and not him to make a final decision. Now, as for those who either are for or against the plan, well, they are both well and truly ready for a fight. For decades, conservationists have fought against nuclear dumping and that battle isn't about to end. We're going to give it everything we've got. This is one of those once-in-a-generation fights. They're not alone, with many people sceptical about the prospects of becoming home to the world's first international nuclear dump. Not at all. No, no, no nuclear waste dump whatsoever. It's environmentally unsound, it's unhealthy uh, and dangerous. There's potential for longer term damage as opposed to short term gain. But some South Australians feel the benefits can't be ignored. Their jobs would be a good thing for South Australia and I think, you know, I'm not going to build anything without considering all the risks and engineering it properly. Five million dollars in the economy, I think that would be a really good thing, so why not? And business leaders agree, saying a waste facility could secure the state's future. The thing that South Australians are going to have to ask themselves, if it's not this, what is it going forward? What's going to do uh, things for our state, for our kids, for our grandkids, for our great-grandkids? We're talking 50 or 100 years worth of economic growth here. But there are concerns the public consultation period's too short. The time limit that the Commission has put on is very unrealistic for Aboriginal people. That you're not allowing us the time to really understand what this is all about. One thing the report didn't address is where the dump could be located. However, two sites near Kimber and a third north of Port Augusta have been shortlisted in the past. I haven't seen too many communities putting their hand up and saying they want the world's nuclear waste in their backyard. Will McDonald, Nine News.